Are we here already? Hmm, I guess we are. This is it, Chief. End of the line. If I'm right, Eleanor's mama's using Adam to force all Rapture's minds and memories into the poor girl. Lamb reckons it'll make that child a saint. Now, Eleanor's in a deep, dark place beneath Fontaine headquarters, and to keep you alive, we need to sneak in and find her. So let's break into Fontaine Futuristics. This was actually part of the demo for this game when it was first being shown off at E3. Funny enough, and we're going to come up on that here in a little bit. This facility belongs to the city now, to Ryan Industries, at least until the rioting subsides. While it is unfortunate that such measures had to be taken, I must admit, it is gratifying to see this building condemned. Fontaine is gone, Lamb is gone, or close enough. I am alone at last. How have you not died? What in the world? I know I shocked you in water. What the heck? <laughs> anyway, so we are back in Bioshock 2, and hopefully we can put a ribbon on this thing to pretty soon because I think we're getting into end game, or at least getting really close to it. Employees only. Oh boy. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Damage research. Oh my god, it's my birthday. It's exactly what I wanted to get. I thought that plasma actually didn't exist in this game, but I guess it did. Um, let's replace Electrical Storm with it. And by the way, you can probably tell I still got a little bit of eh to my voice, but... Hello? October 9th, 1967. Hello. <clears throat> my name is Gilbert Alexander. And by the time you hear this, I will be clinically insane. I am recording these diaries in advance as a last-ditch effort to assist anyone I might threaten in dealing with me. My next message awaits you beyond the security checkpoint. The bioscan will ensure that you're sane enough to need it. Okay, Gil. Hmm. Gil Alexander. As I recall, he was involved in Big Daddy development from the beginning. Likely had something to do with you and Eleanor, son. So let me guess, he probably got turned into a Big Daddy. He's gonna tell us how to deal with him... ...or something. Whatever. This building's off to the side compared to the rest of the city, isn't it? He. All right, let's find some slugs, because there's probably going to be a few out here. And, as usual, we really don't need to worry too much about danger. Our health bar completely vanishes while we're on the ocean floor, because it's supposed to provide um, that same sort of effect you get from campfires and Dark Souls. See. Hmm. But I wouldn't be lying if I didn't say that I'm getting a little bit... I really want to finish this series up right now, man. Um, it's it, it's really awesome to play through a part of the game I haven't been to before, and I'm pretty sure I missed a slug back there, but whatever. Um, but I just want to get done. We're getting close. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. You're fired. Someone effed up. Okay. Crouch down and get this auto hack dart. All right. Hmm. What are you boozing on? Find Jin. Excellent choice. At least they gave him some money on the way out. Mr. A, he's, he's wasted already. Ain't none left. 
Can I hack that little... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh! Oh, hi. This guy's interesting. Oh, yay! Please, please send me more of those. Heh! Get off that! Yes! I had to do a dance in my chair. <laughs> I'm not even gonna explain what this does. You know what this does. You know why I love it. Oh dear. We're gonna replace electric flesh with this. And I wanna see it activate. Oh man. Probably not in combat. Activate it. Activated act. Yes. Ha <laughs> I'm invisible. <laughs> I am now amazing. Game over, man. Game over. You can't see me. Hold still. You just hold still. And turn invisible. Oh, this is awesome. What an awesome combo of weapons. <laughs> okay, I can't... I can't move at all with this one. So they have nerfed it a little bit compared to the first game, but it's going to be good enough. Come on. Wow, how did I miss with all of those? Get back here. Hello. Plug that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and record this guy, even if I think I've got all my research data on these. Yeah, target research complete. Cool. <laughs> Alex the Great? Oh hell, that has to be Gil Alexander. Same man who left that message we're following. He sounds mad as a March hare now. Oh, same guy, huh? Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. But I'm pretty sure this was the area in the demo. There would be a splicer corpse right here that the player would have started working on with a little sister, and then enemies would have attacked, and it shows off how the, um. Whew, did good. It shows off how um, the tornado trap and flamethrower interact together. You can throw down a tornado trap and then like set it on fire and then the two will fire off at the same time if a splicer walks over it. So they were kind of pitching this combination plasmid mechanic, but you don't really end up messing around with that very much. It kind of, kind of becomes a bit inconvenient, I would say, when you can just, you know, shock and smack about as well as you could in the first game. And, yeah, so, it, I, I don't think it panned out all that well.
Another reason why I feel like the first is superior to the second, even if the second has its moments, you know, that's my honest opinion. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get all registered up here, if I can actually go to the right freaking place. There we go. Identifying clearance level. I, I identified clinical trial subject. Cla cla classification. Protector. Designation. Designation. Delta. Status. Dis dis deceased. Error. Updating status. <laughs> please, please, please stand by. Yeah, I'm not dead. I'm I'm, I'm perfectly alive. Last I checked. <laughs> 